it's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I want to show you this really cool subscriber requested tutorial. And there's going to be a shake blur transition. So if I go to the beginning here and I push play, we're going to be creating something as easy as this. And believe it or not, you can do this in under two minutes. Well, I'll try to make this tutorial in about two minutes or so. But if I go over here to the original video, I'm going to push play. It's gonna look something like that. So this is the original raw video, as you can see. So if you have a shot that looks just like this, and then you're gonna have another scene that's kind of completely different. So what you're gonna do is select the first clip, and in between these two clips, you're gonna go in the middle, just move the playhead right there, and then you're gonna go about maybe eight frames to the left. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to the transform tool, and then you're gonna scale this up first. So go to the corner here and just click and drag this to about 100 and, I don't know, 115. You can also type this in here, 115% for scale all. Click on the plus button here to add a new keyframe. On this frame, we're gonna move it first. So move it like maybe there, or you can move it over here or anywhere. Just make sure you don't have a black edge like that. So just kind of move it like this and then go two frames over and then drag it the opposite direction. And then from here, you're gonna skip two frames. And then again, just click and drag and move it the other way. And then again, one more time maybe. So there's a total of four frames and then you click done. So now if I go back here and I push play, it's gonna look just like this. Now it looks very choppy because we don't have any blur to this effect. So what we can do is go to that eighth frame. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna press command B to split the clip and then go over to the effects tab and then you're gonna to go to blur and in the blur section, you're gonna add the directional effect or the directional blur. So just click and drag that onto the end of that clip here. But now if we kind of hover, you're gonna see it looks like this. Now we need to increase the amount. So go over to amount or you can also use the um, on-screen control. So just click and drag this to roughly 160, maybe less, like 150 or so. I think though for this, we can just go like sideways. So maybe 180 degrees would work fine. So if I push play, you have this simple and smooth shake effect here, uh, pretty similar to this one here, as you can see. So uh, again, this one's quicker because uh, I believe they used uh, a shake for every single frame. You can easily change that by just right clicking on the video and going to show video animation. And then you just drag these points inwards to one frame. So we can do like, if we click and drag this one here, that's gonna be one frame. And then here we're gonna drag this one in so that this is now one frame, but that's gonna be a little too extreme for my liking. So I like to kind of make it a little bit slower of an effect. Be sure to give it a like if you found this video to be helpful. 